Hi. Leave a like, share. Hey everyone. How's it going, guys? So we, we promised you Cross-Eyed Mary by Iron Maiden. Yeah. Here it is. We just did um last Monday uh, Aqualung and Cross-Eyed Mary. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and I that's the only Cross-Eyed Mary I had listened before. So Alexia is gonna listen Cross-Eyed Mary by Iron Maiden for yes. the first time. It is on the Peace of Mind album B side. We I couldn't remember. find it on Spotify, so we had to find it on yeah. YouTube. I remember back in uh, like '98 or something when I bought this record, um, and I was so and it came. They're all double discs, so I heard it. It was the bonus disc that came with the disc, so that was so cool. You know, yeah. every Iron Maiden album had a bonus disc. That's cool. And there were like outtakes and demos and like them fighting over stuff <laughs> I but I, I heard this song and i didn't know it was by jet Rotel back and i just thought oh i guess it's a song that never ended up on peace of mind <laughs> what a great song not to put on the dip on the album mm -hmm. but i didn't know it was a cover yeah so um, and i love steve harris and i the whole time that we were listening to the jet Rotel one i was like oh my gosh steve harris probably does yeah, some amazing this is the, stuff this is this the track. best lineup of course bruce dickinson uh, on the vocals, Dave Murray on the guitar, Adrian Smith on guitar, Steve Harris on bass, and Nico McBrain on the drums. And then you the said, and someone said in the comments that Nico McBrain said that this was his favorite. Yeah, song no, I to said play. it. But someone, I read it in the comments today. Oh, too. yeah, someone yeah, he said says, the same thing. It's the, same, it's the best song I've ever played. Mm -hmm. That's what he says. Yeah. And it's actually recorded on that oh, disc on the cool. B side. Okay, awesome. Say Cross Eyed Mary is the best song I've ever played. <laughs> I love so, it. Yeah. So yeah. Right. So here we go. Very Iron excited Maiden. about this. So this it's is very my, short. me reacting. Nick has heard this before, please. Uh, so very Attention excited. Attention to her. Yes. Okay. Just so that you don't say that. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs>
Yes. Oh my lord. Wow. I hadn't heard that in a while. Like that was I guess like 10 good. years. I I'm sure. I hadn't heard it in 10 years. It's still as good as when I last heard it. Yes. Yeah. And I mean they made it their, theirs. It was a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. Of course more distortion and Bruce, mm -hmm. you know. But yeah. what did you think? I loved it. I really <laughs> loved it. I like that you pointed out where the flute would have been. And then I look over and Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden and Ian Anderson together singing this there live. I want to see that. Oh sometime. my God. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yes. So this whole time I'm like, wow, this is so awesome. Uh, obviously Steve Harris, amazing. He was majorly inspired. Majorly by inspired. Like, yeah, definitely. And uh, some images were coming up there that were really kind of fun to yeah, see of Eddie yeah. and the larger version of the cover. Very I awesome know. song. I love the solo. Love the I can't say it's better because no. I did hear the the, the, the original by Jack yeah. Tull. I'm just a big Tull fan. And she's so. such a Tull fan now. But I'm <laughs> obviously, I'm a super huge Iron Maiden fan. But I mean, it. I they made it theirs. You yeah. know, it's a good cover. I, um... Mm -hmm. But it's so funny that I now know why it's not on the record. I, yeah. I always thought, like, this is such a great song. Yeah. Why is it not on the on the record? Mm -hmm. You know, there's like, because not all songs on this record are perfect. So I'm just like, why did they leave this one out? But now I know. Um, awesome. Yeah, I really but enjoyed I this. Mean, I'm glad you showed this to me. I'm glad you were able to listen to it too after so long. And yeah. After having and Bruce recently has heard such it. a range, man. Oh my gosh. He yeah. was in his prime of there, of course. I what mean, year did this come out? 80, 83. Okay. I, wait, 1984, I think, peace of mind. We can look it up. Yeah, I think it was 1984. Mm -hmm. But, wow. Let's see if I'm right. 1983 or 1984. 83. Ah! <laughs> okay, but yeah, Very so... Very cool. Yeah. But, uh... But you did remember the original and you yes, could compare it yes. because you only heard it once. Yeah, but I, I remember it very well because I really, really enjoyed mm -hmm. it. And I remember even when we were listening to the original that you had mentioned, the Iron Maiden one. So this right. whole time I'm like thinking about it. and People are going to well, like that we yeah. kind of also like listen to this one just to show it to Lexi, mm -hmm. you know, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you awesome. did. And thank you everyone for sharing this with us. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't stop. I was like I didn't it's have so the heart. Short. I didn't yeah. have the heart to, to like like pause it. Yeah. No way. It was very short. But yeah. good. Very awesome. Short, because the original longer than five. I don't minutes. know. I, I remember the original being a little bit longer. It's because they're going so fast. Yeah. Oh yeah. you're right. Yeah, that's yeah. true. They did. Maybe it's like thirty seconds mm -hmm. longer the original. Yeah. You let us know. You're the pros. Yes. Thank All you, right, everyone. well, thank you so much for the, for watching this short video on Iron Maiden, Cross-Eyed Mary. Yes. Thank you, and we see you in the next one. Okay? Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care.